Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV and Boat. So another update to our snowbird trip here. Uh, last video, I was down near Valley of the Fire State Park. We were uh, dry camping on some uh, boondocking land there, Bureau of Reclamation land. And I did a video about that. If you missed it, I'll link back. Uh, so uh, next stop we did is we wanted to go up Interstate 15 here and and camp at Virgin River Canyon Campground. So you go up I-15 out of Nevada and into Arizona, just the very uh, northwest uh, corner of Arizona. And over here is actually Utah and St. George, Washington, Hurricane and uh, Zion National Park. But we've camped here before, must have been years ago, I did a a video on it and had some pictures and stuff but wanted to get back there because it was closed for uh, I don't know about three or four years it was closed I guess for renovations or whatever but it recently reopened you can see it's down here in this gorge just beautiful country down there lots of red rock this area here I think they call it a cedar pocket it's so lots of neat hiking around there but they have this campground and it's run by the BLM, Bureau of Land Management, and uh, has an upper and lower campground. So a few changes they've done to it. It used to be uh, all first come, first serve, and it would be cash only, and you would pay into a, you know, a cash box. Now they have some sites that are reservation sites, mostly on this upper loop, but there's a few on the bottom loop, and still mostly are first come, first serve. But I find the some of the better sites are, are set up for reservation through recreation.gov. Um, when you go through there, they're going to charge you eight bucks for the reservation fee. And then sites are eight dollars a night, unless you have the senior access pass for the national parks and lands or an access pass, like a disability access pass, then you can get it for half price, four dollars a night. And I think up to two weeks or something like that. So we started off right here. I booked in for five nights. I think it was site uh, 38. I had a nice view of uh, the surroundings there. And then um, we wanted to stay longer, but there was some wind and rain, uh, kind of a front moving through. So we moved down and there was a site down here, 95, that was first come first serve. So I got to use that system. Now, on that system, because there's no cash, you have to download the recreation.gov app. And uh, you scan a QR code. I have QR codes scattered around the campground. And then you go through that and you make your payment through that. Um, if you don't have cell service here, they say it'll it'll hold in the app. And then when you get to, it'll be as pending. And then when you go to cell service, the payment will go through. We have the Starlink internet dish, so it wasn't a problem. It went through and the payment uh, went through. And I found I booked three nights, so $24, and there was a $2.50 fee. Anyway, this is located right along the Virgin River, which starts way up, you know, up by Zion and goes all the way down to Lake Mead. This time of year, it's running pretty good. There's some really nice hiking along the river here, and it's just pretty to go down and sit by the river. Lots of birds and wildlife which we like and great views. Now, the only drawback is you can see Interstate 15 goes right beside it here. So I find there is some road noise because there's a lot of truck traffic, especially during the day. The upper campground isn't too bad because if you see there's a quite a ridge here and a hill that blocks a lot of the traffic noise. Um, when you camp down in the lower loop, it's a little more evident with the freeway there. But, you know, the, uh, sometimes with the water rushing, the, the river rushing water, it can make just as much noise. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to give you some footage on the ground. Um, took a few hikes down by the river and also give you some uh, still shots. As far as uh, dump stations and water goes, uh, they did have water on site. Um, they do have bathrooms with, I think, flush toilets and stuff. I don't don't really use bathrooms that much, so I can't say for sure, but I saw air conditioners on them and stuff, so they must have power in, in there, and so they probably have flush toilets and stuff. And up here, you can see some water tanks here, and there's a camp host area 
there was no camp host uh, on site when we were here in mid-March, but uh, I imagine it, it, they start to kind of guy go there at some point. And they're right by there, there's a water spigot. So there was good water up there to fill fill tanks or whatever. Um, no dump station though. So for dump stations, you had to go either back towards Mesquite in Arizona. So Mesquite or St. George are 20 miles in either direction. Um, where are we here? There's Little Field. Yeah, Mesquite. So in Mesquite, uh, there was a dump station right near this hotel and casino. There's a Chevron station somewhere. You can go on sannydumps.com or whatever, but they charged $15 for, for a dump, which included a fill. They're pretty cheap propane there. Um, but here in uh, St. George, I did find a dump station. I think it was somewhere here on East River Road. Yeah, this Maverick Adventures first stop was, uh, they had big RV lanes in there. And they had a uh, free dump station there. But I don't know if they had potable water or not, but that worked out good because there's potable water at the at the um, Virgin River Canyon campground. So, and down here there's also this Smith Marketplace as a nice grocery store. So when I went for groceries, I'd take my sewer tote and dump there. Anyway, let's get to it for you, and I'll I'll give you a look around the campground. Well, this actually, this part right here Ooh. looks a bit like that. Yeah. yeah. But then where's the point? Oh, there's the point. Oh, there it is. Yeah, because yeah. there's the one in front. Right? Yeah. So it kind of goes really into that. Yeah. yeah. Nice. They're like, is that all these horses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 They've even got the trees just right. Yeah. They live that long. So we've moved down to the lower loop and grabbed one of the first come first sir sites. Most of the campground is that. This is 95 on the outside of the loop. We have a nice view down of the river. And then out at the back view of the pinnacle over there. It's a little closer to the highway though, so we get a bit of noise, but it's supposed to be fairly nice today. A little bit overcast, but tomorrow is supposed to be a, a front moving in. We're going to get some big winds tomorrow, so I thought it'd be better to be down below the ridge there. And we're also Sunday, we're going to get some rain and the temperatures are going to drop quite a bit. So we've kind of booked in uh, three nights just to hunker down here. No point moving around. It's supposed to be the same pretty well all over the area. So what you do, they don't have a cash system here anymore. They've changed it to the scan and pay system, recreation.gov. You download their app onto your phone. And when you get here, you uh, scan that. 
and you follow through in the app and you can pay through the app. It says if you don't have cell service or internet, um, it will hold it as pending and then when you get to your next uh, service area, it will go through. But uh, we have the Starlink, so it went through and told me I was paid. It was uh, eight bucks a night and they charged a service fee of $2.50. So it was altogether $26.50 for the site. Not too bad, we've got a little fire pit there, picnic table. Some of the sites ha also have shelters, but uh, we don't really need that. The site's nice and big, although it was a little unlevel. I had to go up on uh, some boards on one side. Here's another look at our campsite in the lower loop. You can say a bit of highway noise, but uh, beautiful views. And we're not far from the river down there. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone.